Welcome to another This Week video for April 19th. We've got a pretty good week of, of books this week, and we're going to start it off with a brand new number one from Dark Horse called All Eight Eyes. It's a giant spider book. I look through it. Artwork's not too bad. I think I want to give this book a shot. Um, kind of makes me itchy. I don't like really bugs, but I think this, I think this could be decent. We'll see. We'll, we'll check it out tonight. We've got a new scout number one, All the Devils Are Here. Ahoy Comics, Billionaire Island, Cult of Dogs number six. I think this finishes off this, this particular series. And we've got AWA, Black Tape, number three of four. Bone of the Gods, number three, from Scout. And this is always a, always a little fun book. Chicken Devils, number three from Aftershock. Nice looking cover. The Chilling Adventures. Chilling Adventures present The Cult of That Wilkin Boy. Nice long sentence for a thing, but it's from the Archie Horror, Archie Horror series. Nice, nice, uh, nice cover. Disney's Darkwing Duck number four. Got a few copies of these. Bring the kids in. They'll have a great time reading Darkwing Duck. Dead Seas number five from IDW. Issue number one of The Expanse, Dragon Tooth, written by Andy Diggles, writes a writes a lot of good stuff. Um, I, this is based on the television show. If you're a big fan of the show, you, try the comic. If you've never read it, watch the show, try the comic. One of, one of the best writers out there on the market today, Greg Rucker, The Forged, issue number two. And we've got Black Black Mask, Gangster Ass Barista, number two. I remember um, a few a few people this happening in school sometimes to some people. No coffee being poured on, but the head was going in the toilet. Wasn't a pretty sight. We have got God Killer, number two. I think it was like the second or third different series of Dun of God Killer. Gunslinger Spawn, number 19. Justin Jordan's Harrower, number 3 from Boom Studios. And issue number 5 of Hitomi from Image. Beautiful cover here. The Butcher's Return, Part 4, Issue Number 14 of House of Slaughter. And we got The Last Barbarians, Number 3. Liquid Kill, Number 3. Another week, another book from Mark Miller. Magic Order number four. The Mighty Barbarians number one from Ablaze Comics. And we've got Moriarty number three from Titan Comics. This is a big book here. People are going to be bashing the door down for it. Because it's the best of Twilight Sparkle, My Little Pony, one shot. Ken's called me three times if this is if this book has come out, and it's out Wednesday. No one, number two. Order and Outrage, number two, by Jim Starlin and Rags Morales. Some old school, some old school writing and art, artists there. Jim Stalin was just signing autographs at the uh, Little Giant show, hosted by Little Giants Comics. Jason, um, excellent show. Once a year, check check it out next year. Jim Stalin was there though; he was a big guest of honor. 
Rick and Morty, number four. Rogue Son, number 12. And we've got Soko, number one. That's a scalped homage cover. Son of the Hedgehog, number 59. And we've got some Star Wars Adventures, The Nameless Terror, number two. Street Fighter Masters, number one, Cammy. Great title for a book. Snow White, The Zombie Apocalypse. Great cover for a book. The Summoner's War, Awakening, number one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Armageddon Game, The Alliance. Number six. And another new number one from Image. Yep, Image. It says it right there. I'm just having trouble reading today. It's been a, it's a rough day. Uh, we got Terror War, number one. Not too sure what this is about, but the artwork doesn't look too bad. This guy's got some something growing off his face or whatever, so... Could be interesting. And Undiscovered Country Volume 4 Trade Paperback. The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 61. And Exo Man of War, number 2. That's it for this week's for this week's independence. So some good stuff. Nothing uh Nothing really bad. We good today. Now I'm gonna come to DC. Batgirls number seventeen. I think they're canceling this book. That's what I heard. Nineteen. At nineteen. Yep. It's a pretty good seller book. I don't know if it's been bad like selling throughout the country, but it didn't sell. It hasn't sold that bad here. Batman's World's Finest, number 14. I only keep on hearing better and better things about this book every 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 time it comes out. Black Adam, number 10. Most of the people who are reading this says they can't wait for issue number 12. Skip for the rest, just put 10, just put 12 and end it. Catwoman number 54. Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, number eight. The Flash, number 797. We'll see him fall in the Speed Force when he tries to run fast yet again. Corey, it's like this. That's how he falls in the Speed Force, Corey. Nightwing. 103? One, one, oh, one, oh, <laughs> uh, static number three. Superboy, the man of tomorrow, number one. Connor Kent is back from whatever earth that he was from before, but he's back. And we've got Superman, number three. The Night of the Parasite. Something bad's going to be happening there. Looks like she's sucking the energy right out of, out of soups. All right, now we've got Marvel. Looks like a big week, but there's two giant epic books. Amazing Spider-Man, number 24. We're one issue away from the big issue. That's what Marvel says. We'll, we'll say. There is a comic god. Avengers Assemble Omega number one. I believe this is this is the end of this shit run and lousy, lousy story by Jason Aaron. 
Um, if we are lucky, he will he will leave Marvel or and DC, or maybe he'll just leave comics in general for a while, um, and get the bad taste of this swill out of our mouth. Uh, I can't wait for the next New Avengers number one, uh, because it won't be him. Bishop number three. Tim Seeley's been doing a lot of stuff lately, and is another Captain America Unforgiven one. Hallow's Eve number two. Cantwell's been doing a doing quite a few things lately too. He and is his Hellcat number two. And we've got the Lone and Level Sands. That's the that's the title of the Epic Collection for the Incredible Hulk. And we've got an Epic Collection Iron Man Doom. New Mutants number two. Nightcrawlers number three. Predator number one, the second printing. First printing sold out like that. Predator trade paperback, Day of the Hunter. Can't wait for this book to end either. But again, Jason Aaron's writing it. I gotta give him credit. He's getting two books out in a week. Too bad it's two books of crap. But it's still more than Brian K. Vaughn gets out. So what can, I mean, what can you say? Um... You wait. I mean, you can wait that and get some quality, or if you really want to read, you can read two two books of garbage. But we got Punisher number eleven. Yeah, no, Punisher number eleven. Hopefully, he's almost off of this book too, and we can switch it off because we don't need the Punisher with superpowers and being the hand or anything. Just go back just to killing bad guys. Red Goblin number three. She-Hulk, number 12. Star Wars Sana Staros, number 3. Star Wars Yoda, number 6. Warlock Rebirth, number 1. Nothing excellent about this book, but the Excellent, written by Peter Milligan and drawn by Mike Allred, number two. Oh boy, still continuing. Let's hope it was over. X Force, number 39. And we are going to end this book with the probably the best looking piece of garbage out there. Um,. Salvador La Roca is doing the artwork, but we got Extreme X Men number five. At least it's pretty garbage, not stinky, bad looking garbage. But nonetheless, still garbage. Well, that's what we have this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.